Why, hello there. My name is Nick Hennault, and this is Science Wednesday. We got a really fun lesson planned for today. We're going to be discussing the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth dimension. So let's kick things off with our first dimension. What you're dealing with is an infinite number of dots right next to each other, so close that eventually it just becomes one line. The dimension exists only as a line. And just as the first dimension was made out of an infinite number of dots to create a line, if we have a line and draw an infinite number of lines side by side, eventually what would occur would that they would all come together and create essentially a box shape. When trying to understand the third dimension, it's easiest if we start with the second dimension, which is a simple box, and then draw a infinite number of boxes coming off of that box. Together, these boxes will eventually create a kind of cube shape, or in this instance, a weird rectangle thing. Um, and that cube that is that now has a x, y, and z axis is going to be our third dimension, which is created by, like I said, an infinite number of these two-dimensional planes. And so when you're trying to understand the fourth dimension, I think it's easiest to kind of retract and look back at the first three. So um, we see that when going from the first dimension to the second dimension, what we're really getting is we're getting a change. So we're able to see from the first we're from the first, we just have a single line, and when we enter the second, we're able to change to another line. And, um, and so we kind of develop this sense of change from the first to the second. And in the same sense, from the second to the third, while the second is just one constant plane, x, y plane, um, the third allows us to change between a series of planes. In that same aspect, the third to the fourth dimension, the third dimension is one finite 3D model. So it's kind of a non-changing 3D set, while the fourth dimension allows us to constantly change between 3D environments, um, and that is the idea that we know as time, which is kind of the ability to for things to change. The fifth dimension is not something that we as humans exist in, but it's still important that we attempt to understand how it works. So with the fifth dimension, it's easiest if we look at the fourth dimension, time, um, as a line. So the way that we see the world, we exist kind of time is linear and we're just moving through time. Once you, that is the fourth dimension, this linear time. Once you enter the fifth dimension, time is no longer a linear thing, um, but instead you can see it all as a plane. You add another dimension to it. And so then time does not appear to be moving in one direction, but instead you can see all of it at once. Well, thanks for watching my very crude explanation of the first five dimensions. Um, if you have any questions, I'd recommend asking someone who knows a lot more about physics than me. Have a good day.